What's up fellas? So today I want to talk to you guys about why promiscuity ruins women but not men. So whenever you guys are dating somebody or whenever you are letting somebody into your life, it's very important that you pay attention to the signs because if you let the wrong person into your life, you're pretty much walking yourself into a slaughterhouse. You're strapping yourself with a bomb vest on it with no flak jacket and the bomb is going to detonate. Just mark my words. So fellas, living in today's society dating is on a whole different level because now in our generation the hookup culture is more popular than ever before because back then when i was dating when a woman has given her body up to you when she hooks up with you that had some kind of value it had meaning because back then when a girl wanted to hook up with you it means that she wanted to be exclusive because that had value but nowadays with the evolution of social media and online dating when a woman gives her body up to you it has no value because a woman nowadays she can hook up with you on friday but she can go out and do the same thing to the other guys saturday and sunday and monday and tuesday because think about it how many girls slide into your dms today none but if you look at a girl who is a six, seven, eight, nine, or a 10 with the sip nowadays, girls' inboxes are getting blown up. They're getting messages every single day. When a girl walks outside of the house, she has a whole bunch of flesh rockets lined up for her. And here's the thing. According to Psychology Today in 2019, if a woman has a higher notch count, if a woman is more promiscuous, she is self-sabotaging herself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Because if a woman sleeps around and has casual sex with multiple partners, and she just disposes her sexual partners and toss them to the side of the road, she is putting herself at greater risk from suffering from anxiety, depression, BPD, borderline personality disorder, because if she sleeps around, she is incapable of pair bonding with you, which means she is incapable of being happy in long-term relationships and marriages. Because if you guys do not know, every time a woman is sleeping with the dude, his flesh rocket is inside her fanny. This means that she is going to take DNA from that guy, which means is which means if she sleeps around with multiple dudes, she's taking DNAs from those guys. This is why when you guys see a guy who has a baby with the girl and the baby has blue eyes, and there's no way in hell that that guy has blue eyes in his genes. It's because her sexual past, she carried on a DNA from the dude she hooked up with. This process is also known as microcharmism. If you guys are not too familiar with it, Google it. It's every time when a woman hooks up with a guy, she takes on DNA from that guy and it stays in her brain forever. And it's scientifically proven that if a woman has a lower notch count, when she's not out slaying the dragon and sucking the whole bunch of cobras, if she has a lower notch count, it is scientifically proven that she is going to be more happier in marriages and long-term relationships and i know that these type of girls are rare they're like unicorns because every time you try to find a good girl it's like the moons and the stars and the solar eclipse the the moon the sun and the moon got lined up perfectly like it's damn near impossible but fellas every time you look at a girl you always have to pay attention to her past because no man wants to date a girl who's been ran through her wop has been destroyed and fellas i found this funny but it's absolutely brilliant a woman pays attention to a man with a great future while a man pays attention to a woman with a great past which makes sense because no guy wants to be dating the town slut where she has been ran through destroyed and dismantled because let me tell you guys this if you guys decide to date a woman with a troubled past a, a woman with a bad dating history a promiscuous woman and if you decide to get into a long-term relationship with her or you decide to marry her this woman would never be happy into a be happy in a relationship or a marriage you're pretty much buying yourself a ticket to go jump off a cliff you're pretty much walking yourself into a slaughterhouse you want to avoid this woman at all costs and if you guys want to know the signs of a promiscuous woman i'm gonna drop the link down below because i made a video about this and it's crazy because fellas with nowadays with the evolution of social media and online dating, it is so easy for women to be promiscuous while being promiscuous for men is hard. So whenever you guys see a promiscuous woman, a woman who is, who she sleeps around, it shows that she is easy. Whenever it, whenever something is easy, it demonstrates no value. It's low value because when you guys play a legal League of Legends, when you guys are playing an easy level, do you build character from it? Absolutely not because everybody can feel like Michael Jordan when you're playing basketball with a whole bunch of five-year-olds and you will never get better because anything that demonstrates 
easy. It's low value, kind of like a promiscuous woman. A promiscuous woman is easy. She demonstrates low value. She is a low hanging fruit and the juice is not worth the squeeze. Let me tell you guys something. Let me put this in contrast that you guys can understand. A lock that has been unlocked by many keys, that is a useless lock. It's a bad lock. But if a key can unlock many locks, that is the master key. I want you guys to think about that. A lock that has been unlocked by many keys is a bad lock. But a key that can unlock many locks, that is the master key. So it's a, there's a saying, if a girl sleeps with a lot of guys, she is a slut. But if a guy that sleeps with a lot of girls, he is a player from the Himalayas. Because men are always going to have it harder. And fellas, let's be honest here. When you are born as a man, we lost at birth. Because as a man, we are born with nothing. Zilch, because as a man, we're always the ones that need to create value, build a future. As a man, we're always the ones that need to learn game. We need to learn a competency skill because how society looks as men as we are the providers, we are the protectors, and men are seen as to society as the success objects. While on the other hand, society looks at women and worships women by their beauty. It's guys, if you go if you guys go to the club. It's always the hot girls that get in for free. But us guys, we have to get into the back of the bus and wait in line. Not only this, but we have to pay to get in. And once you get in, you're like, you look on the dance floor. You're like, where are all the hot girls that were in line you know, 20 minutes ago? Where are all the hot chicks? Why are all the fat girls and all the land whales on the dance floor? Where are all the hot chicks? Because all the hot chicks are in bottle service with all the successful guys. Because men... We, let's be honest, fellas, we are success objects and women, they are sex objects. Do you guys see Leonardo DiCaprio and Justin Bieber walking around with a land well with saggy ass titties? Absolutely not, because these guys are successful. And successful guys are always with the hot chicks. This is why I always tell you guys to get on your purpose and become the highest value male. A woman's value comes from her preserving herself. This is why you always hear girls say, oh, oh, I'm not like that. I'm not like the other girls, you know, I want to wait for marriage. But the lie detector says that was a lie. When you activate your sharinga, you just see right through all this fuckery of the games that women play. Fellas, a woman will try to sell a man purity while a man will try to sell a woman utility. And also remember this, fellas, a woman will always ask you for your notch count. Ask you how many girls she slept. How many girls she slept with? She's doing this because she is trying to test her sexual market value to see how well desired you are. And you never tell her. I don't care if you're a holy virgin. You never seen the fanny since the day you came out, or even if you slayed one thousand cheeks. A master chef never tells his secret ingredient. So whenever a girl's asking you for your notch count, you just say, "Oh, you know, that's for me to know." and for you to find out at the end of the night. Or you can say, oh, I've been with 1,671 girls, but tonight, baby, we can make it 1,772. Just, you give her a sarcastic answer, not a straight answer, because when a girl asks you that, she is trying to shit test you, and you never give her a direct answer, because a master chef never reveals the secret ingredient. So, fellas, the more promiscuous a woman is, the more likely she is able, she is going to suffer from depression, anxiety, BPD, which means she is going to be incapable of building a happy relationship with you. And she will never be happy. You can never make these girls happy. These girls are just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So, fellas, and also, I was reading something along the books. Um, I, I think this is true, so I want to add it in there. So, the lower the notch count, a man is going to get depressed and have anxiety. But if a man has a higher notch count, he's going to feel satisfied and he's going to feel successful with women. To this certain extent, I think it's true, but this is why I always tell you guys, never let woman validation determine who you are. The, the thing that will bring you the most happiness is when you chase success and when you chase excellence, your purpose and mission in life is going to bring you the most fulfillment and happiness, not woman. So I want to make this abundantly clear. Whenever you are dating a girl or letting somebody into your life, be smart because if you date the wrong girl, she can drain your energy like an energy vampire and you're going to walk into a slaughterhouse. 
But when you date a girl who is deserving of your time, she's going to make you a better person because a woman should add value to your life. A woman should be complimentary to your life, not your whole life. So be careful who you give your heart to, be, give your heart to because most of these girls don't deserve it. But let me tell you guys this, you have to dig through a pile of shit just to get the gold. So I want to tell you guys one thing before I close this video off. Every sectional partner leaves a mark on your soul and sidekick. Good or bad, there are going to be permanent scars and memories. So be careful who you give your heart to because most of these girls don't deserve it. But fellas, if you do find the right girl, that unicorn, best of luck to you, my friend. So fellas, this is how promiscuity ruins women because it, she cannot pair bond with you. She's never going to be happy. You can never make these girls happy. You can do whatever. You can chop down a tree. You can, you know, do whatever it takes, but she can never be happy because she's not happy with herself. How can you make somebody happy who's not happy with themselves? So this is why how promiscuity, promiscu promiscuity ruins women. You want to stay away from these women at all costs, and you want to protect your heart and soul at all costs. So fellas, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys want to hear next.